Welcome to the LLM Chronicles. My name is Donato Capitella, and in this series, we'll focus on understanding large language models one sketch at a time. I still remember the first time I used ChatGPT. I found myself astonished, wondering how is this even possible? How can it understand language, generate stories and poems, do maths, and even code? That very curiosity propelled me on a journey of discovery. And now in this series, I invite you to join me as we retrace this journey. Together, we'll embark on a story-based exploration of how we got to today's large language models. The series will be composed of short explainer videos, like this one, to help anybody grasp the concepts at an intuitive level. No deep maths involved here, so don't fret if maths isn't your strong suit. It is mine either. And for those of you eager to roll up your sleeves, each video will be followed by a coding session where you'll get to apply and experiment with the concepts. So what's our roadmap looking like? We begin with the basics of neural networks. We'll talk about artificial neurons, dive into multilayer perceptrons, and understand how they can be used as universal function approximators. In the lab, we'll be setting up our first multilayer perceptron to recognize handwritten digits using PyTorch, which is one of the most widespread deep learning libraries. However, this multilayer perceptron will not work just yet because we'll have to train it. So next, we'll tackle the challenge of training our network, which is at the heart of deep learning. We'll explore stochastic gradient descent and its optimizations, such as mini batch updates and momentum. In the lab, we'll go back to our multilayer perceptron that we built before and we'll train it to finally recognize handwritten digits. Then we'll move on to recurrent neural networks or RNNs. We'll look at how to model sequence problems such as speech recognition and text generation. And in the lab, we'll be crafting a character RNN to generate text. And this will take us a step closer to LLMs. Our journey will then take us to the world of attention and transformers. These concepts form the basis of modern LLMs. In particular, we'll look at how attention is used in the transformer architecture and how models such as ChatGPT use a subset of this architecture. In the lab, we'll harness a transformer for text summarization. In our final module, we'll explore more practical applications of LLMs, such as chain of thought reasoning, React, and retrieval augmented generation. These techniques are used to improve reasoning skills and provide LLMs with tools to interact with the external world, such as vector databases, to augment LLMs' knowledge with external sources. By the end of this series, you'll have a foundational understanding of large language models and the skills to experiment and innovate. To get notified of new episodes, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you next time.